only message that we, you know, is that funk is the only war. That's the only message we have because, you know, messages tend to change, and if you're stuck in one message and it changes on you, you have a problem. So I think it's just think it ain't illegal yet. Think for yourself, whatever the thing is, you find out what it is. I was born in the outhouse. My mother thought she had to go to the bathroom. I almost got wiped out. <laughs> so what can I say? I was born that way. He wasn't supposed to show up. He just shows up every now and then. He's not supposed. Whenever he do, he do. You know, cause he um, showed up in Columbus. You know, whatever he played. He's rehearsing for. He's rehearsing for Chris Madison's hometown. But uh, he's rehearsing for his own show. So um, he shows up here and there. It's a must. It's a must. I mean, that's it's going to happen. You know, we've been, we're rehearsing on the road. You know, he's rehearsing back home. But uh, we say, what the hell? We go to these small places where people appreciate us and test the new funk and play some of the old funk. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. What's the Riviera going to be like in five weeks? Oh, it's going to be random, <laughs> random testing. Better than the Metro? It's going to be better than the Metro. <laughs> like I said, we're going to have random testing. How would you like the Metro? Oh, the Metro is cool. Metro is cool. Crowd didn't stop the whole night. Yeah, I mean, that's what's happening to all of this, all of this here thing. It's been like that throughout from beginning to end. You tried with Melo. You, you oh, did yeah. a Melo Cruz tonight. Yeah, yeah, but I, I told him don't get crazy if the audience go crazy. Lay back, don't try to follow them. You know don't even try to follow them because it's, uh, they drive you up a wall, so we just say, we lay back. It was one of the nicest mellow shows I've ever seen. Yeah, it was intentional. I thought Marvin Gaye was going to walk in there. No, it was intentional. We had to slow down because they would, they would make us, you know, play too fast, too loud, you know, so we intentionally held it back from the beginning. It was almost too slow, but there was so much energy, even with the slowness of the bar. Yeah, it's like a warm night in Belle Isle, right? Uh, yeah. What, uh, even, even, um, Hello. <laughs> even the crews were still. Oh, uh, the crews, yeah, they was up there watching the show. <laughs> we had a makeshift band at the end of the show. Half of the band got locked out. Was Chicago one of the best shows we've done? Oh, yeah. I think this is Chicago and this one now. But all of them are like this. Some of them, some of them is overly, I mean, like, Last night and a couple other nights, they'd be overly, and we just didn't make us play too much too fast. So, I mean, all of them are very good. What about the Palladium? Palladium was one of those ones that made us just go crazy, and the people was crazier than we were, so they we had to catch up to them, so we was forever getting crazy. Tonight, and Chicago both, we, like, forced it to hold it back. You know, the people were so crazy, we just, like, pull them back, don't let them make you come so fast. You got a lot of funk in the do, so don't do it as soon as you get in it. Detroit cops want to talk to you. Two ladies over here, Detroit cops. You feel me? Get me George together. Excuse me, let me take this picture right here. Excuse me. Wow. Yeah. 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 What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What's the charge? Too much funk. 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 Too much funk.
first of all, I want to say congratulations on the new album. I'm officially talking about this. I'm talking about the new album releasing right now. the peak of that so um, I'm glad they're still around knee deep and all of that it's like the top of that before it went back to the basic funk rap is like starting all over again and that's punk too so we let it we chilled out the knee deep and said well let's go kick back and let, let them sample a little of that because funk is, funk is like Lay's potato chips I bet you can't eat one <laughs> Okay, are you, are you, you eat one, you got to have some of them. Are you and Booster going to be doing anything you got to do? Sure, sure. We're going to we gonna do some work with them. I, I don't know if we can go on tour together. Be a, I don't think we got no places that big. You know. But um, we definitely going to be doing some things together. You going back so. to Facebook? Always, always. I mean, that's where the funk is at now. And I, wanna, I thank the brother for helping us get back out of here. Yeah, what was it like working with the man in there? Oh man, you hear them, don't you? Yeah. 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 Plus they, plus they, um, oh no, they, they bad. I mean, they totally bad. They totally, they totally bad. Plus I knew them, you know, before they got with Prince down in Atlanta. You know, they, do, they do some work with Gary Scheider. You know, so, oh no, they bad. I mean, ain't no problem, man. What do you think uh, music is going to be like in about 20 years from now as far as funk music? <laughs> in the outhouse. <laughs> in the outhouse? I know, I'm still funky. Yeah. I don't know what galaxy, but they'll still be doing it. Same. Oh, yeah, it's going to be maybe called um, Space or whatever, but it's going to be, they'll be punk there. I have no doubt of that. Will you, will you right in? Oh, they have Muzak punk. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, nah. What do you think of today's music? House stuff. What do you think of the house stuff? It's just new music. I love any music that's working. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I got better sense than to say I don't like any music because every time you say you don't like it, mm -hmm. you're giving energy to it. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So. I like it all and still want to give it energy because I love rap. You know, it took me a minute like anybody else. Yeah. It's only, I, it took me a minute to get used to fuzz tones and wah wahs. Mm -hmm. You know? I hear you. Like it took a lot of people a, lot, a long time to get bop, 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 bop. They couldn't stand it, but it works. It's happened. It stayed. It lived. I have no doubt that rap will be classical rap. Mm -hmm. Eric Beaton was almost there now. You know? So. The new music is new music, and we're going to always be in it, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Do you like sequences? Oh, yeah, I like sequences. What do you think about bringing back some cosmic types, cosmic slop type stuff? I'll probably do that on uh, other records, you know, with other artists, uh -huh. you know, produce new artists. So I'll be doing that kind of stuff, cosmic slop, free your mind, all that stuff. What about Michael Hampton? Do you think he's going to ask this? Do you think Michael can uh, be a group on his own? Anybody in the band could have their own group. That's the best thing about this group. Everybody is, is um, could be leading the group. Most of them don't want the hassle. They don't want the hassle. George Juniors, uh, Tracy, I got two of these songs that's in there. Yeah, and like everybody in the band could be, you know, like their own band. And my job is just to bridge all of them together. Those, you know, those kind of egos could be real hard to get along. But I'm like the bridge between all of them. And um, they play very good together. They do. They do. Yeah. Any, any way they want to play, they, any combination they want to play. Back Oh, they was here, but there just wasn't enough room to stay in the hay. But uh, there, there'll be records on the Brides and Parlet and all of that. Are they still uh, doing their own music? Well, like Lynn is, was with George Michaels this year, past year. And uh, Don is working, was working with Gap Band. Um, they're all over the place, you know what I mean? Since the punk is just not getting back, you'll find a lot of them out here now. Still going to be doing their own thing? Eventually, yeah. Horns, too. We'll probably be having records out on the horns. But you have to do something else to supply, to, you know, to support all of these people. There's only one P-Funk record? Yeah, right, 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 right. P-Funk All-Stars, yeah. What would you tell young talent? Uh, in order to get into the business, what, would, what could they do? What should they do? <laughs> use that same energy that they use it on the streets to do whatever else they be doing. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of energy most of the time. You know, I know if you can use one third of the energy that you can use to, you know, to like survive in the streets, mm -hmm. take about one third of that energy to, to do it any to do anything. Mm -hmm. And once you realize that, it takes a lot of energy to. To dash through the streets and you know make a living or surviving, you know I mean I'm not putting down it's a survival, mm -hmm. but if you want to do music, 
it takes that same kind of energy, but one third of that energy. It's hard as hell, yeah. but so is living in the street. Yeah. You know, so. What's that? Can I get some some poultry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> poetry, I can't get no poetry up right now. See, he was born, he was born. <laughs> oh, mother was a pedigree, a better breed of Irish setter. Dad, though, without a breed together, they had seven in the letter. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Great thank concert. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, thank Great you, thank concert. you, thank you. One nation. Oh, man, good luck on the tour. Give him a brief, give him a brief. Give him a brief. Give him a brief. Okay, so Some little radio promos, maybe? Sure. Man, I play you okay. Like, you read my shirt? <laughs> WCBN FM Ann Arbor. 88. Oh, yeah, yeah. 88. Yo, this is George Dr. Funkenstein Clinton, and I'm always checking out WCBN FM 88.3. Can I get you to say Yo, one? ho, Ruth. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you before. I'm out in Brooklyn, Michigan, so I check out all the time. I'm Tony Brown, 9 to 11 on Saturday nights. The James, anyone? Yo. Say it again now. Tony Brown, the jams. Saturday nights from 9 to 11. Yo, I check out Tony Brown and the jams on what? <laughs> oh, same thing? Yeah. Oh, yo, check out Tony Jams on WCBN FM. And Arbor. And Arbor. All right, Joe. Do a boy be dogging them out, too. <laughs> hey, um, but I want, seriously, I want to know, uh, you think y'all can get that together? You know, you and Prince put that on stage? Well, we're doing that. We're doing it. We're doing something. We don't, we don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be. Because I was looking at night, man. It looks like y'all got the same, you know, you can, the horns and everything can fit right in there. Oh, yeah. It's, all, well, it's one big funk family. It's one big funk family. You'll be hearing from me today. Well, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to be in that family. One Nation. Take one nation, group. Okay, okay. So you're in Brooklyn? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm on the phone. I'll send you a text. Okay, man. Okay. Two job. Oh, I got to get on over here now, y'all. Where are you headed next, George? Uh, Seattle. Seattle, huh? Yeah. Okay. Any words for Fela? Huh? Any words for Fela? Fela Kuti? I saw Phil, uh, what did I say, man? Just saw him in uh, D.C. We were supposed to be hooking up and doing some things. Tell him I said, uh, follow, follow. <laughs> so, Constitution Hall. Yeah, right. As a matter of fact, he was in L.A. and I just missed him. But we're going to do some things together, too. So tell him I'll be ready to do it whenever he's ready. You want to jam with him? Well, I want to jam with him, too. <laughs> Put both of your bands together? Oh, yeah. That'll be a lot of people, won't it? You got a lot of nice girls in that band, don't you? Better people. Yeah, they kind of nice, ain't they? Right, I'm going to interview you. <laughs> okay, until then, y'all, I think I better slide on out of here. Give me some uh, notice about Chicago so I can get the Okay, we'll be in touch with you. We'll be in touch. Like I said, we're doing random testing. Right. I'm testing positive for the pee punk. I'll pee in your cup. <laughs> sure, huh? How you doing? This is Mike. Oh, how you doing, man? Hey, y'all.
actually getting the deal. But um, I was one of the persons that he chose to be a part of the group. The name of the group is the Incorporated Thang Band. And um, where will the uh, tour go next? Well, we got a few dates um, next weekend. Seattle and a couple of other places, but we got uh, Japan coming up. I don't know if you know about that, but Japan is coming up. I think we're supposed to leave like the 13th of uh, September or something like that. And we're over there for a couple days, and then we come back and we do L.A. and different gigs. And, but mainly, I couldn't tell you like what's going to happen next, but what I heard like through the grapevine is we got like about a year's worth of gigs that we're trying to... Will you be going to Europe at all? Yes. yes. Matter of fact, that's real, that's probably like in the end of October, I think we should probably I Don't quote me now, but I'm just saying those are like, it's going to happen. You know, those are assumptions, but it's going to happen. Brian Craig, we can get out of here. So did, like, you, did you think the uh, De Detroit crowd was a lot mellower than Chicago? Well, Detroit is Detroit, Chicago is Chicago, but uh, I felt like Detroit had a little bit more energy from point A to point B, you know, for the duration of the time. Other than that, you know, this is all, Detroit, you gotta understand, Detroit is totally different. It's a whole other thing, so. Okay. You gotta respect each city for what they're offering. Right. I know you're a Chicago fan, you know. I am too, I like Chi Town. Oh yeah. You know, I love it. And they always accept the funk graciously. So I'm glad of that. How does New York, a New York crowd react versus to uh, Detroit? Um, like I said, each city is different, but New York is always hype because it's the Big Apple. Yeah. And uh, we were at the Palladium. I think that's where they filmed the uh, Club MTV thing with the Julie Brown. Right. And uh, it was exciting. They were just starting off the, the rap seminar. And uh, we had a good time. It was fun. It was a good crowd. A real good crowd. And, uh, it was fun, though, to sum it up. Great. I'm not gonna try to judge each city, you know, that's like ribbing on one, you know, that's not fair. Right, right. But it is a difference. You know, it is a difference. I'll say that much. Uh, um, Detroit doesn't get a lot of good bands. And um, so she's number interview. Okay. You're, you're one of them that has come around in a long time. Well, George, you're looking at 25 years of him pushing funk. And we still don't have our own category, but that's okay. Thanks to the rappers. And You're in a class by yourself. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's different from R&B. It's different from rock, soul, or whatever, jazz. But in a way, it's, it has all the elements in one. But it is different, though. It is. Let me just state that. George's son. Do you really? Yeah, most wanted. What's that band like? What is it like? Very funky. 
most wanted type of thing. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Motley. Okay, and, and are you more of a, a newer newcomer to the band, or you've been around like? Uh, I've been around with for a while, but I'm now playing with George's uh, son. I see. Okay. Um, and what 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 more, what's the more popular songs that you've been uh, known for? What, what's the uh, more popular songs you're known for for George Clinton's band? Uh, One Nation Under Groove, Flashlight. Many others. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, <laughs> in, in, in 77 you had an uh, album come out. Oh, one of those, yeah, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, do you think you're going to be doing another one? Yeah, very shortly. You know, because the rhythm and the time is right, and I'm ready to go. Are you going to be doing more of the writing, or do you think you're Well, both. Be yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I noticed you've been doing, like, oh, you did uh, The Beatles. Right. Uh, you going to do another cover tune for the Beatles? I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm really I'm playing by ear right now, you know. But uh, there's so much innovative stuff that I have, and plus, you know, I like to fall back on other stuff too that's, you know, made it, you know, that, you know, that I appreciate, and, you know, bringing it back up to another time or another feeling here. Yeah, that's on the one you know. So, so, you know, uh, you might some other kind of, uh, in, you know, influence for your new album. Yeah. So well, you think, you think we're going to uh, put the main band together for your albums? Like, you know, Bruce yeah. and... Well, and basically, work, yeah, yeah, you know. And you know, work, work from that, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. How long is this tour going to be? Uh, right now, it's... Uh, it's up in the air, but we have a lot of dates, you know, we, you know, we're going to Japan and, then we, you know, we're picking up dates as we go, you know, so uh, it's, it's going to be a lengthy thing, you know, but, but I'm, you know, it's like, I've been waiting for it, man, you know, because you know, everybody's been like separated from each other, you know, and it's, it's like a reunion, you know, it's a reunion tour, you know, and so, you know. I'm looking forward for it to keep going. <laughs> I don't want it to ever stop. You know what I mean? You've been you've been with them from like almost from the beginning. Oh right? Jesus Christ! <laughs> At least maybe 20 years. Oh. Of well, you say 17. Married. I was 17 years old. Huh? Say that? Almost married. Almost married. Yeah. Oh, with the group, yes. Right. <laughs> Where's your guitar? Huh? Where's your guitar? Send it again. All <laughs> And your name? Uh, Danny Cross. Danny. Yeah. And? Cheryl Chris. Okay, Cheryl Chris. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're the Chris. Yeah. Okay, the Christies. <laughs> That's a nice name for a group. You know, we, uh, right now, Tinnitus, uh, I'm laying down a lot of tracks, and we're trying to, uh, well, you know, when you're on tour, you know, it takes a lot. Number 15. Okay, it's fine with me. Yeah, but it won't open the door. Okay. I tell, I tell. No, no, I, I know. I didn't mean to interrupt the interview. I've been interrupted before. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm trying to, uh, you know, get this happening. And, you know, like, Along the travels, you pick up more vibes and different things, you know, and that's the inspiration that makes me write. You know? Well, it's, it's safe for the whole group, you know. And you know, I'm just looking to really do a. Uh, oh, 
want to do a real rock opera, girl. Rock? Opera. Rock opera? Yeah. With yourself or like with, with the well, band? No, with, with the band and, you know, and other people, you know, other different artists. I had, uh, That'd be great. Yeah, George and I had talked about this years ago, but, you know, it just never really came to, you know, delight. So maybe it might happen this time, you know? Never can tell. Yeah. Um, do you, you think uh, your, uh, your band with, you know, the plan and everything, I'm sure you played in uh, Parliament also, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think you're really, like, one of the only bands that's actually playing, like, the music that, the real now music that is playing now and, like, uh, I know, uh, James Brown's getting older and everything. Yeah, but no, no. Trying to tell what, what is I think we are the band. Uh, yeah. yeah. I believe that. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think so. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. as much trouble as he does. Because, no. Because no, don't you think, like, other bands just, like, pick up on the money, they listen to their producers too much. Uh -huh. And, uh, and they don't, they just don't go with what they really initially think. No, because it's, it's, you know, it's like uh, sometimes, you know, different groups get they be conditioned to do, you know, you know, something as a programming, you know, but we, we go by our flow, you know, this is our rhythm, you know, and, uh, you know so, I mean, basically, that's what's happening, you know. Yeah, so you're not, you don't think you'll ever get, like, uh, programmed to where, like, somebody's going to actually tell you, you know, like, to, oh, yeah. to put out, I mean, you, even though Prince is, you know, fine. And gonna... No, we can negotiate anything, but I'm saying, you know. Yeah, yeah. you want to do what, mainly uh, freestyle, you know, freely yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. It's freedom of funk alone. It's fresh funk That's right. Do you, do you also go MIDI, you know? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah. 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 We do a lot of MIDI stuff, you know. You know, uh, sampling, looping, you know, reversing sounds. Yeah. What, what do you think? Uh, did uh, Brian Eno and the new music uh, back in the 70s, back, you know, when Roxy Music or did any of the, uh, uh, maybe David Bowie, I, although, you know, you, you've said it in, in your P-Funk stuff, did, uh, has that put any influence into your music and are you still kind of like theorizing? Again, see, music is <coughs> universal and when you hear it, I mean, it, you know, it's just like, have you ever woke up in the morning and you have something on your mind? You know, like I wake up in the morning, there's music on my mind every morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm, sometimes it blows me away because I be, all of a sudden I'm way back in the 50s. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, but that's how it is, you know? And timing is what's happening right now, you know what I'm saying? And all the old stuff is coming back, you know, it's like evolution, you know, it's, 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 re it's returning, it's repeating itself, you know. So, um, you know, that's like I, I said before, we had to, we going with the flow, fresh funk of love, you know. But you never, you never get really heavily into the rap, um, I, well, you know. <laughs> I don't want to comment on that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I well, mean, rap is good, you know, especially if it's got a real good meaning. You know? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm into rock and roll, man. I like. Well, uh, that, that's I like great. Energy. That's great because I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, theorize on this and say that. Uh, uh, a rap uh, is going to go to a certain extent, and then. Uh, you might, you, you'll feel something from that and then uh, work on, on it from well, there. right now, I believe that rap will change to a, a broader, you know, uh, perspective as far as the music getting with it, you know. Uh, like, you know, because uh, George, when we were doing this years ago, you know, and uh, I think now, all the scratching and stuff, that's cool, you know, but I mean, you, but you get tired, I get tired of it, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. But now it's about the music, man, because see, that's the rhythm of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I just try to uh, disassociate myself with just rap it. That, that's great. That's, uh, um, 
I'm, I'm glad, well, I'll put myself to say that I'm, I'm glad to know that it's, there's a, been a funk band around for like 20 years that's kept herself funk. And when somebody else came in with, you know, with something else that's so-called as rap, which you already originated in you know, the 70s, that you extend yourself and went beyond that means and you're not going in and cashing in on the monies, so 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 to say, because you can easily do that. Yeah. And uh, you, you, although George Clinton and and yourself and, and the other people are more, they're more like um, a cult following. It, it's not as big as it should be. But, you can say yeah, that, but you know, we really don't want to classify ourselves as being a cult, you know, it's just, no, yeah. it's, just, it's a spiritual thing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, Bootsy, why didn't Bootsy show up tonight, or why it was in here? I really don't know, I, uh, I think Bootsy's a little other than the weather. Uh, it's, uh, it, it, um, say, say, say maggot brain. Uh, how many people is around from that era? You know, I mean, only, only George. Who, are, are, are some of them like housewives now? And, uh, you know, are they like the, the girl that pulls for the cover? You know, where do you, you know think what? She's? I don't know which, I don't, I don't even know her. No. You know, no. She was just like maybe a model or something that posed? Uh, you know, only George and I are the only ones that, uh, as far as Maggie, you know, uh, you know, Gary and Debbie and all, you know, came after, you know, but, you know, you like Maggie, bro. Well, yeah, I like, well, I like all of them, <laughs> you know, I, I like all of them, there's not really one I can, uh, I can, maybe One Nation, I don't know, I don't know if I can, uh, but you got Freak of the Week, too, and everything else, you know. Um, do you think you think as uh, you think as uh, George Clinton does uh, that they shouldn't have went to the cutout section and you know maybe maybe uh, you think they should be on CD all those all your, yeah, all your well, I, well that's what's getting ready to happen yeah. Yeah. I'm getting the air of that they're they're all digitally processed and. They're going to be all remixed and digitally processed. Are, are you? Are you going to be? Uh, are, are, are you going to be uh, in with those when they're going to be playing? Do you want? Do you want them to be the same, uh, recorded over? There's always that that edge where you can freshen things up. So, you know, I'm into freshening things up. So, so you might change like maybe an old, uh, older album like, uh, uh, you know, uh, I bet you or something like that. You might put in something else or. Well, you did, you, you did, or uh, you, you kind of did a rendition of it. Well, we might have tapped at it, but we really didn't. No, well, I, I don't. I, I, Myself, I don't feel like um, the the audience was all with it for, for you in order to play the whole song. No, no, but you know how you know how that goes. You know we have to go with the flow, and then you know uh, who's ever out in front. You know we have to go with that. Okay, uh, you know, uh, is, is uh, one last word. Would you like to like comment on something, or I mean, you know, <laughs> is this a bad interview? <laughs> well, the interview is not bad. Let's just keep it fresh. Like I said, fresh from the door. It was happening. It's the '80s, gonna be the '90s, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna fuck y'all up. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Eddie Hazel.